Today we're going to install the Toto NeoRest LS. This is one of our favorite integrated bidet toilets on the market today. My name is Daniel Johnson. I'm the owner and the founder of ManyBidets.com where you can get expert advice on all things bidets. Now before we get started, you're going to need a half inch NPT connection in the wall. That's a female connection. So we recommend getting a plumber out to install that connection and install the NeoRest shutoff valve as well so that you're ready to do the installation. Now, of course, if you want to hire the entire installation out, you absolutely can, but that's gonna be the trickiest part and the part that we really recommend you have a plumber do. If you decide to handle the rest of it on your own, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have a drill, a Phillips head, a flathead screwdriver, as well as some plumber's tape to make the job as straightforward and easy as possible. So now that you have your water inlet installed, now this is a special NeoRest inlet, so you need to take that out of the packaging for the plumber to install. It's time to figure out exactly where we need to screw into the floor. A NeoRest is unlike most other toilets on the market in the respect that you actually do have to put some holes in the floor to do the install. Fortunately, Toto provides a template, and this makes it really easy to determine exactly where those holes need to go. This piece is gonna go in the back. And I always like to put this down with a little bit of tape. This just ensures that it doesn't move as I'm trying to mark the holes. These are the holes that are actually for the bolts that are in the flange itself, so we don't need to drill anything there. But for these additional holes, I will, and I like to drill pilot holes first, and then come back without the, the template on and drill the actual size we need. Now that we have the pilot holes drilled, we're gonna grab a larger drill bit, a 3 16 drill bit, to actually get the holes where they need to be. Now today we're drilling into wood, so we're just using this 3 16 but if you're drilling into tile or you're drilling into cement, you'll actually want to drill a larger hole and put the anchors in and you'll put the screws into these anchors. Now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and get the flange ready for the installation. So these bolts are gonna come with your flange, not with the NeoRest, and you're gonna slide them into the grooves and then you're either gonna put your wax ring down, or we like to use a better than wax seal, especially for these installation videos because we're always taking them on and off. And then we're gonna take our flange adapter, which is something specific to the NeoRest, and run those bolts through the flange adapter like so. So now that we've got the flange adapter down, we've got to lock it into place. Now don't be confused by this hex hole on either side. That is for a different NeoRest install and it's not actually used for the LS. Instead, we just put the metal bracket down, put the screws through, and tighten. Now that we've put the four screws in the back, it's time to tighten down the flange itself. Now, our flange came with wing nuts, but again, that does not come with the Neo rest. It comes with the flange. So your nuts might look a little bit different. They might be wing nuts. They might be more of a standard nut. Any of those will work. Uh, but again, you want to use what came with the flange because it does not come with the Neo rest. Now, unlike a standard toilet that connects to these bolts, the NeoRest actually has mounting brackets that get installed here and here, and these mounting brackets are what the toilet screws into. So the toilet is held in place through this rubber ring and the two mounting brackets on either side, and the sheer fact that it is so heavy that it's kind of hard to move. Now that we've got the mounting brackets installed, we're going to bring the toilet close by so that we can install the manual flush. And after we've done that, 
we're going to lift the toilet up, put it over this rubber ring, and this ring will connect with a porcelain pipe in the toilet, and then we're going to secure it down. So now that we've got the toilet close by, we're going to install this manual flush. This allows you to flush the toilet even if you don't have power. Now that we've got the manual flush installed, we can mount the toilet on the flange adapter. So as we get ready to install the top portion of the Toto Neorest LS, we wanna make sure that these are off to the side and are fed through during that process so that they don't get stuck underneath the seat somewhere. So now we're gonna lift this in place. And again, we wanna make sure these wires route through and this hose does not get stuck anywhere. So we're just gonna kinda of set it here. Grab these wires, wiggle this around a little bit until it kind of fits where it seems like it's uh, going down a bit and then just kind of give it a push to hear it click into place. And now we can start connecting these different cables. Now we have a two, a three, and a four. So we don't have to worry about connecting the wrong cable to the wrong spot. Each of these has clips, so you just see which side has the clip and that way you don't get it upside down. They're also shaped in such a way that you can't put them in upside down. We get those in. Now we also have this little plastic clip that holds all of the wires. And if we move this down a little bit, we can slide that in as well. Now we're gonna wanna grab this metal clip from the packaging and remove the plastic caps on either side of this hose. Now that we have the two caps off, we're gonna go ahead and connect these hose pieces, making sure they fit together snugly. And then this clip is gonna go over the two of them. And then close the plastic cover. So now we have to adhere the top to the bowl with a little bit more than just those clips that we did earlier. And that's done through these two screws. I'm just gonna set them in place. Toto suggests using a hand screwdriver to tighten these down. So we're gonna do that. So one of the things that's nice about the NeoRest line is that there's an easy way to get underneath this part of the toilet to clean it. So remember how we heard it click into place originally. Now that I have the screws in the back, if I press this button, the front lifts up then I can clean. And then when I'm done cleaning, I just push down and reconnects. So that's the beauty of having the screws in the back and the clips in the front. For the top section, we're ready for our final touches. We're gonna go ahead and put this cover on. It can take a little bit of finesse to get these cords out of the way. And then a single screw holds this in place. Now that we have that, your final trim goes on. And that part of the installation is done. So now we're going to take this screw and put it through the plastic mounting bracket that we put in place earlier. And this is what's going to hold the toilet in place. Get it close and then finish it with a manual screwdriver. Once you're done with that, you're just gonna put the white cap on it to cover it up. Make sure you do that on both sides of the toilet. Now we're going to connect the water supply 
make sure you have the blue o-ring in the water supply before connecting it. To turn the Neorest water supply on, you need to unscrew the flat tip screw in the middle of the water supply. At this point in time, you are going to want to check for leaks to make sure that you're not going to run into any problems down the road. Now that we've checked for leaks, we're gonna go ahead and install this cover just to give it that final touch. And we're gonna plug the unit in. We're gonna hear it boot up. We should be able to get the lid to open by doing a little wave in front of it. Come on, there we are. It's gonna pre-mist. Be really loud. It's gonna pre-mist, it's gonna run a flush, it's gonna run some water through the system. Now the remote is going to need batteries put in it. So it's got a little compartment here on the back. Two batteries do come with it. So we're gonna go ahead and open that battery package. And install those batteries. Remote is now live. We have the wall mount. This can be installed with three screws that come with it. And then the remote just kind of clicks in there. Now, there are also holes in the bottom of the wall mount if you want to adhere the, uh, the remote to the wall mount itself. And last but not least, if you're installing this wall mount and you want extra instructions, this guide has holes in the same place that the wall mount does. You can take this protective plastic off the front, line it up with the wall mount, and then when you have it mounted, you can see what all the options are here on the guide itself. Now, Toto does have a little seat sensor logo here, which says where the skin sensor is. If the skin sensor is inactivated, the unit won't run because it doesn't think anyone is seated. So now we're gonna cover the seat sensor and try running a wash to make sure everything's good to go. We can see the self-cleaning running, we're good there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the wash button and let's see what happens. And there's our wash. So now we're, we know we're good to go. Now, with any bidet, Toto or otherwise, the seat sensor can be a little bit finicky. So if you're trying to do this and you can't get it to work, drop your drawers, sit on the toilet, and try it for real. That's going to guarantee you have the seat sensor covered. Now, Mini Bidets sells a lot of these units and knows them inside out. So if you have any questions on them or you're looking to purchase one, reach out to us. You can also link those questions below as a comment so that we can answer them and help others in the process. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Minibidets.com, where we sell mini bidets. Not mini bidets.